three, two, one. Hey y'all, this reading is a legend and for entertainment purposes, now we sit back. Mm. <laughs> Let's get to this intuitive reading for lit, um, get lit with Mo. Okay, so somebody was like, what's up? You know, I'm trying to do the new ones too. Like, let's get into it, honey. So get lit with Mo. Okay, get lit with Mo. Um, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Okay, like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get into it for Get Lit With Mo. And now, I don't know his real name because that's all they said. So, hmm, boom. All right, so Spirit is acknowledging that he wants to get away from something. That he's trying to get away, go away. Could be going on vacation. Could be planning a vacation. Could be taking a road trip. Could be just going to, like, a hotel. Like, you know, some people's idea of a vacation is like let me i just gotta get out the house kind of energy but it's because he doesn't have much control of the situation now we could be dealing with a water sign it could just be just very emotional but he's acknowledging that they're you know trust relax and allow the flow what's the rush sense of like just waiting waiting and this has to do with the relationship because there's the wilted flower here in this relationship somebody was too big for their britches they were arrogant full of vanity self-importance being high and mighty modesty is needed spirit is also acknowledging in the middle of the deck that he is angry and not so much anger because it doesn't feel like that's his energy. But he's just very disappointed. He's hurt. He's crushed. He's sad. Like, I'm f touching my heart. Like, he's sad. Like, uh, just full of upset. I don't know how to express that. Um, but this is because he's, you know... Uh, I don't know why, but why, God? Like, that kind of energy. Um, in regards to this relationship, in regards to wherever life is taking him right now, um, but dead end, stalemate, not not lack of clarity, perspective shift is needed. Hindsight is twenty twenty is what his spiritual team is saying. And so, you know, there's a, a, a blessing in the lesson. You ever heard that? <laughs> yeah, because Spirit is acknowledging, like, he's got a big heart. Um, friendship, appreciation, devotion, worthiness, care, caring, playful, teasing. Um... And this has to do with this relationship, okay? What he thought was this relationship. What he thought was a mirror match, blessings, life mate. There is somebody for everybody. I don't know why Spirit keeps trying to play games with me in regards to um, this word, big heart. Big, big, big. And now I'm seeing Biggie. I'm like, there's a relationship between him and Biggie. Biggie. Um... And then also big pun, like in their and and not the physical, but just like the relationships, like their relationships with their women, their wives, their girlfriends. There's there's some kind of mirroring here with get lit with Mo in his relationship, whatever his relationship was, because I don't know. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. These two cards want to come out. All right, Spirit is acknowledging that he feels very stressed. I'm dealing with delays, very busy, very rushed, um, very l late even. <laughs> and Spirit is saying this is because you keep attracting moths. You're not attracting the right high level beings. You're attracting low level dark energy. And they're they're attracted to your light. They're they're attracted to you for some reason. And it could be a light, it could be something else. Be careful. Got a lot of haters in your energy field. Get grounded. Stay protected, okay? I feel like I need to pull the card again with this deck or get lit. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Great actor and putting on a show. Are you putting on a show? Is somebody putting on a show? Is this real? Does he play a lot of pranks? Y'all tell me in the comment section below. I have no idea. But somebody says somebody put on a big show. Um, and somebody's coming in after you because of that. Somebody's gonna come in after you because of because of that. They're envious. Um, I don't know. You know, these YouTubers, they do what they do. I might be a sense. Get lit with Mo. What does he need to hear moving in level line? We do get the magical map shifter. Interesting. I don't think I've ever pulled this card before. In reverse. The magical map shifter card may bring you the opposite of what you seek. Perhaps you're in denial about your situation and refuse to see the truth. Or maybe you've been traveling down a path that has constantly led you to a field of poppies where you fall asleep and dream of desires that never find their form. To have the life you really want, you must match its vibration vibrational energy and resonate with it sometimes your greatest hurts 
and disappointments are what awaken us to our need to shift to a higher frequency, Ashe. If your heart aches because someone is breaking it, this discomfort will lead you to a more difficult, authentic life. Don't linger in the pain or blame the magical map shifter for alerting you to the illusion you clung to. Know that treasure lies elsewhere and can be recovered once you've healed the wound that is reflected in those who come to you as catalysts for growth. As you experience yourself transforming into the highest version of yourself, you'll come to the un to understand that you're always fortunate when you meet up with a ma magical map shifter. I'll show you to the ancestors. I'll show you to the universe. Okay, okay, okay. Get lit with Mo. It's got a very interesting energy. It's like, I don't know. I can't I can't put my finger on it. It's like docile, funny. Doesn't want to be angry. Suffocation, needy, and making one wait is energy around him. Spirit is acknowledging that there's also an energy that you, this person who pushed you away, pushed you off. Y'all just were not equally yoked. Like, y'all just not on the same playing field. It's not the same vibrational energy. Religious differences, sense holier than down. That person was very judgmental. In the middle of the deck. Two cards. Thank you, Spirit. You need to be careful with these groupies, these fans. It's some low-level energy, too. It leaves you feeling very um, scatterbrained, crazy, juggling unknowns. Because you be watching whatever they be saying. So, be careful with that. Get lit with Mo, current energy. Thank you. 33. <laughs> This person is with did they have kids? I don't know, because I'm, I'm there's a woman with a child, okay? But empath, understanding others. Spirit is acknowledging that you have empathic energy, highly sensitive, seeing the good in everyone. Is your mother present? The energy about a relationship with mother. Um, gifted, introverted, compassion, understanding, strong intuition, problem solving, empathy, self-denial, give and take. Something about the relationship that you have with your mother. Oh my goodness, why is this card up? It was just sitting right there on top of the deck. I'm going to respect it. 17. Um, moonlight. The moonlight. Something about this empathetic energy. Could be an energy with a mother, a child, boy with mom. This little boy is crying. Is mom present? Relationship with mother? I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comment section below if you know. Um, but the moonlight. Something about this relationship and the moonlight. Of the subconscious mind. Reflecting dreams. Emotional response. Contemplation. Expression. Intuition. Memories. Connection. Personal needs. Um, emotions. Feelings. Fear. Subconscious mind. Facing fear. So something about this relationship has a big role to play with. Why he is such an empath. And also why he is looking for love in all the wrong places <laughs> all right get lit with Mo. thank you look at all of that spirit is saying there's an energy of um, someone being unfaithful around him corruption and greedy be careful this person is not a is a no bueno with the king of pentacles um they're also talking about y'all if y'all engage in any sexual activity they're gonna be talking about you um troublemaker moodiness heartbreaker with a knight of cups this person definitely is coming with making you feel very sad spirit is also acknowledging that there was some gainful employment around this energy. Maybe you made more money. Maybe you made more views. Maybe something. But there was some give and take. There were gifts. There was gratitude. You gave this person a lot of gifts. Spirit is acknowledging that there's an energy now where you're easily distracted. You're bored and you're lazy with the page of wands. Since this relationship, the spark is low in your area of passion, but also in the area of relationship. With the three of swords, you're dealing with trauma, heartbreak, loneliness, grief, and crying. Uh, sending you love and light. Your thoughts. You keep thinking about this relationship. You're also feeling fear, a lack of confidence confidence and self-doubt so your strength is very low in regards to this relationship spirit is acknowledging that you need to get balanced spirit is like yeah okay you need to get balanced work-life balance you need to have um focus on um strengthening yourself life is going to bring you ups and downs life is going to hit you it's going to have blows but you got to get yourself up and try again right you know something's going on there also you're dealing with some financial juggling and y'all still dealing with partnership making choices you know i feel like you're at a crossroads spirit is acknowledging that you feel like you're dealing with this because there's been some unfair circumstances with the justice card in reverse you just don't feel like justice has been served like that's not right that's not fair why me why this why now kind of energy I feel like there's been some injustice and dishonesty and spirit said that this is because of the breakup it's bad news it is what it is um it's making you sad it makes you depressed it makes you feel sad it just does um um, and there's blocked emotions even. You need to go talk to somebody about that situation. Okay.
Okay. You heard in the middle of the deck. Spirit is saying with the hermit card. Yeah, you need to go seek spiritual enlightenment. You need to time out. You need to focus on yourself. It's okay to be alone. Focus on reflection. Hindsight is 2020. What's next? Forget lit with mo failure, no reward, lack of confidence with the six of wands. This is why you gotta pick yourself up. You don't want this kind of energy, right? Uh this is a very low spark in the area of business, but also in the area of pleasure. Spirit is also acknowledging it's gonna be taking a break, breaking down, not able to follow through because of all of these issues and drama in the area of business, but also in the area of this relationship. Spark is low in the middle of the deck, letting go of regret, being proactive and focusing on the positive. So the sun will come out again, right? I know. All right. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.